Naruto, the Warlord Armquist is heading to a meeting with the other human warmongers. His orders are to unite them against us. No biggie. I'll just take him out. Yes, but that would still leave the others alive. Martyring Armquist will only stiffen their resolve. Oh well, I guess I'll have to do them too. Follow Armquist to that meeting. It seems Majestic is using primitive listening devices they've discreetly placed to spy on Armquist. We're not alone. Bending in terror to hinder Majestic. Crypto, your forecast surprises me. I won't stop you. Just don't let this stunt hold you up. My analysis shows that bending an antenna has the desired effect of interrupting transmission. One would think you'd done this before. Yes, yes! As they can no longer spy on Armquist's little meeting, Majestic can get bent, as the kids say. This must be where the warmongers are gathering for their tribal war council. Take the form of a human warmonger and infiltrate Armquist's meeting. Then take the form of a human warmonger and infiltrate Armquist's meeting. Then use your powers of persuasion to turn the others against him. Spacemen! Out of the way! The brass always bust my chops, jackasses. Marines are right. The army is for pussies. Armquist got more brass in there than a Sisyphean convention. You know what I heard? It's them. They're here in America. I want to be just like Sergeant York or Gomer Pyle. Oh, not again. No, no, listen. The evidence is overwhelming. First, communist spies infiltrated a small country fair in the American heartland and kidnapped the winner of the beauty pageant, violating her corn-fed virtue in God only knows what unspeakable ways. When they were done with her, they destroyed the whole fairground. Civilian casualties were tragically high. We must send all our troops to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, they'll be safe there. 
What? By God, Armquist's right! We can't let an act like that go unchallenged! You've got my support, General! Last, a communist agent used an experimental nuclear explosive device in a direct attempt to assassinate me at Area 42! I don't suppose you managed to catch this so-called assassin general, or are we just supposed to take all this on faith? Sorry, General, but you'll have to do better than that if you want my support. General, but you got a big mouth. Son of a... You! How did you do that? Come and get me, you comet piece of crap! Okay, we'll do it your way. Eat hot plasma, monkeys! Crypto! Your power has been blown! You got it! You dirty rats! You're the rats who killed my bro- Huh? Your way is not very sportsmanlike. You can run, you little freak, but you can't hide! Who's hiding? Let's get funky. I'm Quist in the Navy's battleship. Show that gentleman a waterlogged hunk of metal is easy enough to defeat Crypto. Get ready, you beat eater! You're going down! Trotskyite sympathizer!
Go on, you comet punk. Finish it. It didn't have to be this way, Armquist. <clears throat> what do... <clears throat> what do you mean? I mean, this ridiculous war. We could have worked together, you and I, to forge a new future, a common future of peace and prosperity for our two peoples. Just put me out of my misery, will you? I'm serious. You... You didn't want to destroy us? Of course not. We were as scared of you as you were of us. Deep in our hearts, I think what we really wanted was to be just like you. Really? Really. I guess, at the end of the day, we really are all just human beings. Psych. Pathetic human. Did you want a saucer upgrade? Or something a little more... personal? I've been monitoring the radio. This human with us says the president will appear before his subjects today. This president must be more integral to their social order than I suspected. I have noticed a significant increase in activity in front of the White House. Right on. Just tell me where he is and what he looks like. I... Uh... Uh... uh the mothership's tracking system is broken. I think he uses those convoys of long black vehicles for transit. You think? I can't exactly pinpoint the president from orbit, Crypto. It's not like he walks around with a big red arrow over his head. I need you to follow those vehicles so we can identify him! supposed to keep up with that image. I am such a plain Jane. If that boss of mine pats my ass one more time, I'm gonna deck him. Scanning? Oh, look. Their vehicles use hydrocarbon combustion. How quaint. Crypto, try not to breathe. I'd like to meet the man who invented high heels, so I could kill him. Mild-mannered secretary by day. High-class call girl snaring sensitive lonely millionaires by night. A girl can dream, can't she? Components are both made of carbon compounds. 
They must have gotten the soylent green leather interior. I see options. My mind says Ike, but my body says Ike. Hoffman, you just lost a vote. What if you cooked hamburgers really fast and gave them to people in cars through a window? Why does Silhouette give me these jobs? I wonder if it's because I hit on her at the Majestic Christmas. Oh, their electronics are masking no all human neuroelectrical so signals. Well, so much for biorhythms. We still got the horoscope, though. Oh, my God. Is my fly down? Don't look. Don't look. Armquist is my hero. Wonder if anybody'd notice if I went AWOL. Look out! It's an ambush! Circle the wagons! Throw me a shotgun! Get the little folk inside! Oh. I really must stop watching human television. Do screw it. Destroy them all. Move over. Monkeys, that was pretty smooth. Crypto, the river creature has just made another broadcast. He says the president will be appearing before his subjects in a short time. Clearly, he is a wily adversary, much more so than Armquist. I saw you want me to disintegrate him mercilessly into a trillion teeny weeny bits. Roger that, big cousin. Very smooth. Of course, I wouldn't expect the humans to take this line down. But hey, you're a big crow now, right? You can take care of yourself. Crypto, the dudes in dark have found your saucer. I think they're planning to destroy it this time. I'm no expert in human explosives, but it looks to me like they're laying enough to breach the power cells. That could vaporize the entire city! No. Hurry! They're going to destroy your saucer! Oh, have they no regard for another means? Space invaders! Step right up. Weapons, abilities, saucers, upgrades are us.
Now that the president is dead, the human senators are voting for a new leader. The vote is agonizingly close. When the president dies, doesn't the vice president become president? Just shut up and kill those senators before they get inside the Capitol! Body snatchers! You know, you see a girl a couple of times a week just for laughs, and then right away they think you're gonna divorce your wife. Now I run for your lines. in a democracy and thus I say so.
So what's the good news? Hey! This time they will have Leon! Oh, goody! What would you like to upgrade, you little ball of unbridled aggression? Humans have mass-produced a weapon that threatens our main invasion force! These Tesla coils are cheap, shoddy versions of the ones you met in Area 42. And you, my impulsive friend, are to destroy every Tesla coil unit in town. Interesting. Some are automated, but others require human operators. So what do I do with those? Simple. Each unit must be connected to a nearby control console. Destroy them all! I don't care how. So I'm taking out the Tesla coils and the control consoles? Once again, Crypto, you have crystallized the thrust of my gist entirely. Destroy those Tesla coils on foot. Otherwise, they'll disrupt your saucer. Electric defenses? the weapons inventors kill those scientists 
Without them, those coils can't be rebuilt. seat of all human power, and they're turning over the keys to the whole planet! Our victory is complete! No more blowing stuff up? Oh, the Furon Emperor will be most pleased! Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to believe. Silhouette, I presume. You don't look like a general. You don't look like a little green man. Thank you. So, waving the white flag, huh? All the monkeys got together, scratched their heads, accepted the inevitable. 
That sense of humor. Just like your... Like my what? Uh, file. Your dossier, Crypto. Said you were quite the Joker. I think I never told you my name. No, I suppose I have your brother to thank for that. You're a chick? I'm a patriot. If you had to put up with politicians playing grab ass all day long, you'd wear a mask too. Me, I get my kicks the old-fashioned way, beating up bad monkeys. Funny, that's just what Crypto136 said. Of course, he was a real cut-up too. Well, so much for plan A. What's that? That, my gender-deprived friend, is plan B. The end of your insidious invasion. A champion even you can't defeat. The greatest political mind of the 20th century in the greatest weapon ever built by man. Behold! The robo -prez. If elected, I promise to destroy all furons! That is seriously messed up. Robo-Prez, dirty tricks mode! Aw oh, man, now I'm gonna get my suit dirty.
Buddhist map. The smell of presidential brains in the morning. Just remember who set that giant potus of destruction upon you. Uh, right. You know who I mean. Oh, that silhouette guy, right? Uh, or chick. Could you do me a favor and not creep me out? Sure. In any case, he, I mean, she ran from the capital. I lost sight of him. Her. Silhouette. Near the... Attention, Furans. Attention, Furons! Is this thing on? Oh, whatever. I know you little gray freaks can hear this. I'm sure you're out there listening. Gloating. Pretty much, yeah. It seems only fair. Credit where credit is due. You did it. You beat my beautiful Robopres. And now you're probably sitting around fantasizing about destroying all the humans. Typical. Sure you handled the boys, Armquist Hoffman. Oh, that was a challenge. <laughs> but everybody knows which sex is dominant on this planet. There's still plenty of time to get your asses handed to you. That is, if you're not too scared to fight a girl. No, no I'm not hung up on the whole Pudenda thing. So come on, Crypto. Let's dance. I'll even let you lead. I'm at the Octagon. Don't keep me waiting. Spacemen!
You beat me. I can't believe you actually beat me. They never do. You know, you don't look so hot. Majestic. We'll never give up the struggle to resist you alien freaks. Struggle's over, babe. Furon's won. Human Zipperoni. You think you won? You think America is the only human civilization on Earth? That's what all the Americans seem to think. At least the ones I scanned. Smug little insect. There are three billion people on this planet. And everywhere there are humans, there is Majestic. Sorry, doll face. Without you, Majestic's just a bunch of dudes in crappy black suits. Majestic. Empty. Twelve. The twelve. All over. All over the world. Attention, humans. I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. Resist this. Good evening, my fellow Americans. In recent days, rumors have run rampant of flying saucers, alien invaders from other worlds, indeed, of my own demise. I'm speaking to you tonight to put these rumors to rest. The truth is, America has been attacked, not by little green men, but red. And our invaders are most definitely of this Earth. Despite the efforts of this administration, our nation has been infiltrated by communists, godless deviants who hate us for our freedom-loving way of life. Their conspiracy, details of which are only now coming to light, included drugging our water supplies and controlling our media via mind control. The result was mass hysteria, a national delusion which provided them the cover they needed to execute their fearful scheme. But your military and intelligence agencies fought back, and I'm proud to report that once again, America has emerged victorious. However, the price is dear. At this moment, millions of Americans are working hard and playing by the rules, unaware of the lingering toxic pollutants in their minds. To combat this lingering menace, we have set up testing centers across the nation, at shopping malls, local schools, even churches. The test is simple and painless. Why, our family had it just this morning, and I'm back at work. Doris is in the kitchen baking brownies, and little Billy's out playing tag in the rose garden right now. It's completely safe. So, trust your government. Trust your president. Freedom is on the march, my friends. Good night, and God bless America. Step inside, citizen. You sure this thing is safe? Step inside, citizen. Jeez, Louise. I don't know. Hey, buddy, you heard the president. If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Well, I guess a test couldn't hurt.
like shooting monkeys in a barrel. And so, the world breathes a sigh of relief. The threat of alien invasion proved a false alarm. As for those who scan the skies for a real visit from outer space, they may be in for a very long wait. Perhaps the lesson is that we should turn our gaze inward, remembering that man's worst enemy is often himself. You want a saucer upgrade or something a little more personal? Mm.